what's going on. I'm so glad that Judge Joe Brown is telling you that O.J. Simpson didn't do it. Why is it that black folks got to die or something got to happen for the truth to come out? You know. And I love how he's calling Nancy Grace, Nancy Graceless, too. I'm going to talk about it every day I get. I don't care. I don't care if numbers go up, go down, because I got so tired of these clowns running around with their racist agenda, but still trying to act like they didn't have white folks that actually did get charged and did get convicted of actually doing things. But they want to use OJ as a, as a, as a parameter of a circle, which is a racist institutionalized concept. Because what it really is, and I've said before, this ain't about Ron Nicole. It's about the fact that they can't stand the thought that a black man defend himself and had the rights to defend himself. We give you this money. We give us lifestyle. And what they're saying is, you's a good boy. You be good on this plantation. We'll take good care of you. But you can't never defend yourself. You have to take it for the team. You have to put your head down and, and, and blow. That's what they're trying to say. They still dwell in 30 years later. They still, you know, right is right, wrong, wrong. You have to accept so many things when you're black in America with three Ks. When you're black anywhere in the world, you have to accept things. You got cameras on you. People are always going to suspect you, suspicion, you know. And I always say, I don't care who you're with. No matter who you're with in your personal life, what have you, your uniform don't change. I say that all the time. I say that all the time. I'm a black man that's always going to be paranoid by white folk, especially if I don't know them in a lot of times because I think most of them are racist. I just do. And I say that with honesty and conviction because they haven't proved me wrong. Most of the stuff I see proves it in some form of capacity. Most, not all, but most. Because the bottom line is, for all that talk about, oh, I'm, I don't see nothing. Oh, yeah, you do. Yeah, you do. If I say O.J. Simpson's name, I'm going to get reaction out of you. Yeah, you do. Yes, you do. Because you don't take time to read, to understand, to comprehend, and to have feelings or to look at things beyond what they tell you. And, you know, the thing about it is he broke this down in a few minutes about why it couldn't have been. You know, never mind Nicole's a crack, a, a coke head. Ronald Gold was a black belt. He put some, if he had kicked OJ, if OJ had been there and he kicked him in the shins and knees, there would have been noticeable. OJ couldn't even walk with arthritis. I told you before, common sense says you don't go to LAX and Chicago O'Hare Airport in that split seconds of time. You can find two airports in America and a low, low airports, and you might make that story believable. But to go to LAX, to O'Hare Airport, and be all cool and nonchalant and head bop? Are you for real? Really? You don't really make that work like that. You just don't. And then they come back and bring you in and they do photo shots of you. And there's no marks on your body. And you got a little cut on your finger, index finger, which is hardly not the same as what Ronald Goldman's fingers look like at the scene. Make it make sense. Y'all just wanted to strip him because you didn't think he deserved to have it to retire old and black. And that's what Eddie Griffin says. One thing Eddie Griffin says, the baroque clock he is, because I don't care for a lot of Eddie Griffin, but when he was right about this, they ain't going to let you be black and not get put something on you. They got to do it because that's the only thing they know. Black folk got to be slaves and enslaved and downplayed and taken for granted and treated as second-class citizens and meek and disheveled and but yet keep the keep the industry booming. Yet keep everything going. Keep every, When you need votes, who you go for? Let's go get black votes. When you need hip happening music, when you need clothing, when you need slang, when you need everything to give you those rose colored glasses, but the truth. And OJ Simpson represents everything Americana. Everything. Black man with the gold standard woman, the trophy wife. Living the dream. That's what they sold you on. And that's what they really mad about. How dare a black man live a white man's dream and fantasy? That's what it is. And I told you all the time, you know, he didn't do it. He loved white too much in that capacity. Okay. You know, 
He loved it. White women, white wine, and white coke. There's no way in the world he's going for any real blood and red. Judge Joe Brown's been the only one that's come out telling the truth and addressing whatever Caitlyn Jenner's agenda, whatever Caitlyn Jenner is. You know, Bruce took out somebody, but we don't talk about that because you Caitlyn now. How you can roll reverse your gender and roll reverse your identity and get yourself out of a deletion only in America. Only in America. For all these people acting like they don't know and they going ghosts. That's the problem we have in that racist denial country. Black people get down on their luck. The white folks flip on you. And then black folks flip on you too. They do. Because I ain't I seen a hand. I seen something come up speaking for OJ. But I know when trouble hits, the master tell you, don't say nothing. You don't want to be like them. But Judge Joe Brown is going there. And he's speaking the hardcore facts. They never should have touched OJ at all. For not for that. And that whole thing in Vegas was nothing but a racist witch hunt. And that Barracuda judge and that prosecutor attorney, I saw that smug turkey. I saw what he said. That's why I'll never go to Vegas. Because that is embarrassing. Trumping up charges. Pun intended, trumping up. But that's the facts. They ain't to no good. That's why there's going to be a race war and there will be another war or something. But you know this ain't going to be good. You can't live in a place that enslaved you. And they let you know that OJ is the symbol of what they're coming back for. Please hit like, subscribe, welcome thoughts, comments. And I do respond. Thank you. Wash your hands. Keep your mind clear. Watch out for another shitter if you like my piece.